All right, so we're doing the Daniel fast. Let's talk about that a little, little bit, all right? Uh, we started the Daniel fast. Uh, at, I always started at midnight when the when the clock strikes 12. <laughs> that's when I start Daniel fast. There's some that don't start it at 12 at, uh, on January the 1st, and I understand because they have their festivities still going on and celebrations and so forth. Um, I like to turn it on right at one o'clock, but I, I'm a right at 12 o'clock. I don't, uh, uh, I don't, I, I don't wait. I like it. I think cause it's easier for me to count the days. I'm going to do this for 21 days. So when 20, 21st of January rolls around, it's pretty easy for me to remember. That's my last day of the fast. So the first three days are the toughest and it landed on Wednesday. And I talked with everybody in the congregation at the church. I had a great turnout on Wednesday. God bless everybody who came out. And uh, I talked to them about the power of the fast and the importance of the fast called the fat, the fast that pleases God. And uh, we had such a great time. And um, but it, the th three days are the toughest. So those of you that this might be your third or your fourth day, hang in there. Three days are the toughest, first, second, and third, sometimes leading into the fourth. Fifth day, you're strong. You're okay. You're already beginning to think, you know what? I can kind of live like this every once in a while. You don't have a tamal or, or uh, you know, a fajita or something like that, but you can, you can live like this. You're beginning to feel it. Some of you, your belt loops are already beginning to get a little looser and your scale's a little lighter, and you're really feeling good with yourself. That's really good. And uh, still a challenge, though. Still a challenge, yeah. Somebody gets in front of you and puts a burger right in your face. Uh, Facebook friends are putting pictures of their steak dinners and barbecues and all that stuff. And even me talking might, might be causing you to fall. I don't want you to fall. I want you to be encouraged. You hang in there. Seven days. It gets easier after seven days, I promise you. But let me tell you why we're fasting. We're fasting because we want to go before the Lord and we want to ask him to speak to us a certain word. What is the word? Well, that's up to you. What is it that you need? What are you asking of the Lord? This fast is a, is, a, is a personal commitment before God that God give you the words that you need to hear to direct your paths, that you may be able to be successful in your week, in your day, in your hours, in your days. We want to make sure that you're set, that the vision of the Lord is upon you for the future.